Today I'm going to show you how you can fix Parsec Error 6023. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. First, try restarting both your computer and your router. Sometimes, a simple reboot can fix the problem. Next, make sure Parsec is allowed through your firewall. On Windows, press the Windows key and R together, type controlfirewall.cpl, and press Enter. Then click on Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, find Parsec in the list, and ensure both checkboxes are checked. If you're using two routers at home, like one from your internet provider and another one you bought, this could cause issues. Try connecting your computer directly to the main router, or set the second router to bridge or access point mode. Now check if your router has UPnP, Universal Plug and Play, enabled. This setting helps devices connect more easily. If it's off, turn it on and see if that helps. If UPnP doesn't solve the issue, you can set up port forwarding. Log into your router's settings by typing its IP address into your browser. Then, find the port forwarding section. Forward UDP ports 8000 to 8002 to your computer's IP address. In Parsec settings, set the host start port to 8000. Also, make sure your computer has a static IP address. This ensures the port forwarding always points to the right device. If you're still having trouble, it's possible your internet provider uses something called carrier-grade NAT, which can block connections. You can check this by running a traceroute command in the command prompt. If you find private IP addresses in the path, you might be behind carrier-grade NAT. In that case, contact your ISP and ask if they can provide you with a public IP address. And that's it. That's how you can fix Parsec Error 6023.